you have to know yourself. What what's the distribution of energy levels that you have? Like how what makes you lazy? What makes you excited? What makes you motivated? I think that's different from person to person, but there's several things I could say. I think for me, I try to do something difficult every day, something I don't want to do. Really, if you open your mind, your ear. To the moments where you don't really feel like doing it, do it. Those th those kinds of things, I think, train your mind in the right kind of way to take on the things in your life that you know you should be doing, but are hard, and so you try to avoid them. I mean, just training that muscle, not on real things, but every day on things things as silly as uh, like for example sometimes I'll take a freezing cold shower I, I usually kind of ask myself is this something I really don't feel like doing right now and I never really feel like doing a cold shower but there's some days where I really don't want to and that's when I'll do it and I'll stand under the water for at least one minute just freezing cold Sometimes it could be as silly as you're feeling down, but, and you go to like a, I, I go to a Starbucks and then you don't feel like smiling or being friendly, but you do it. That, that, I, I don't feel like doing it and I do it. So this is practicing that muscle. Exercise, heck yeah, every, every single day. I don't really, especially running. I, I don't like running. That's why I do it. I, uh, I don't, especially don't like starting to run getting out there starting to run the first mile first two miles uh, is is something that i don't want to do in the moment and i do it i think that's those little moments you know it sounds dramatic to call that suffering but uh it really is discomfort struggle that trains your mind in the way that in other things that you are deeply passionate about that are long-term parts of your life allows you to pursue them long-term through the dark parts through the struggle through the suffering of mental and physical so mental is the self-doubt you know there's so many days i wake up full of doubt and i think those days those moments are not something you can take on without practice. It's especially if you do difficult things, especially if you do things that are not traditional or so on, but really everybody hits the wall often enough if you do something big. I think uh, that's something you have to take seriously and you have to practice and practice and practice. And a big part of practice, at least for me, is habits. So most things I have noticed myself getting good at and most things I care about that I want to solve are things I do every day without exception. To me, to me, it's better to do something for one minute a day, every day without exception, than, uh, than doing it once a month for an entire day. I think there's something about that ritual that multiplies your mind's ability to uh, to really take on the full depths of whatever the task is.